I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. You know, the average movie maybe is their very first edit would be maybe three hours, may, maximum probably three and a half. Um, that would be on a on scripts that maybe they just shot a few extra scenes, maybe they even shot multiple endings or whatever. But yeah. it was a bleak point, I'll tell you, Harry, the day I asked the editor, what what is our first cut? <laughs> it was seven hours. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and then after several months editing, and I thought, gee, we're really doing well. For it's still four hours and twelve minutes, and I'm like, so this is one of the weaknesses of the style is that when you've got it all scripted, you can really estimate roughly. Like a general rule of thumb in movies is one page of screenplay is roughly one minute of screen time. Could be slightly less, could, but but funny enough, it generally works out pretty close to that. And so, and so, you know, you can, you can, you're not going to go over by much with a really tightly scripted movie. Um, but, but at that point, yeah. So it became, but, but I like that. Too. See, that's another thing going back is movie Apocalypse Now, there was a five hour version that they actually, I think they actually screened that once. So there might have been a longer version again. So I kind of like this technique of just having, and, that, and this is sort of empowering for me. Film editing is actually my favorite part of the process. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I, I view it as writing. It is a form of writing. It's rewriting, I guess. But in a movie yeah. like this, it's really the main writing is, well, during filming, but also in the editing. So you're, it's kind of like more of a documentary technique where you've got all this footage and you say, well, what story do we want to tell here? But you've, when you've shot so much, you've got infinite possibilities. See what I yeah. mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but but it is dangerous because at four hours twelve, I was telling uh, my producer Gil Ben Moshe that I really can't guarantee that we can get this below three. And in this era, like a three, now we have finally. But what I mean is, in this era, you you really can't release something beyond three hours, you know, yeah, <laughs> unless you're sure. Peter, Peter Jackson or something. Yeah, unless you're a Marvel film. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to ask you though, do you feel in recent years movies, do you ever see movies where you go, oh, is that it? Like it's over. They're so, I find they're so tight. And some of this movie is just, you know, we're getting it tighter and tighter, but at the same time, there's certain scenes where we just, we just linger in the conversation because it's more character driven that you want to see certain. Um, do you know what? I was, hmm. I was thinking about this the other day and that I, I, I just switch off with action scenes now. Like, it, even right. if it's a great film, mm. if an action scene goes on for sort of more than five minutes, I just, I get bored. Because <laughs> it's just like, oh, it's another explosion. And yeah. then I might watch an old 1940s film. And even if it's quite a bad film, it gets my attention more because it's real yeah. people talking to each other. <laughs> um, and, yeah, I, I think, uh, you know, mainstream cinema at least, you know, it's kind of like um, like interviews as well. I mean, I don't know if you know the British Michael Parkinson interviews, but yeah. you know, back yeah. back in the seventies, you know, he interviewed all the, all the greats. Um, and the beauty about one those was that he just let people talk, mm. um, and you, you weren't on the show hawking a product. You know, it was just you're on the show and you're having a conversation, and you might get into politics or religion or whatever. Um, and I think, yeah, talking about seventies film earlier, it's kind of a similar sort of thing that. We in cinema they used to let people just sort of mm. talk um, and explore those characters a lot more. Whereas now, you know, mainstream cinema it is um, well, it's money orientated, isn't it? I suppose. Um, mm. and, and I, you know, I, I, the amount of horror films I watch where it kind of engages me for the first half an hour because they build the characters and then. Yeah. The characters are just completely missing for the rest of the film. You know, it's just oh, zombies are, are running after or whatever. Like, yeah, yeah, um, that's definitely part of the appeal of, of Anno Twenty Twenty. That um, you know, you spend time with the characters. Um, yeah, well, yeah. I mean, they. I think they've they've really got another saying about or well, another saying, but just a word down. They don't like downtime in that whole Hollywood studio system. And that's yeah. why you just go, well, hang on, we've had five or 10 minutes without an explosion. We need another. And uh, yeah. this, but I think when you just have confidence that something is happening here 
and you allow that to play out. I find it fascinating because what I was going to say is going back to that question, like, do you find it's just a bit too, it's become too streamlined and too tight. I, I often find they're sitting, two characters are there and then we just, they're almost using the characters and the scene just to move the story forward. But I often find, oh, what, well, what were they going to talk about there? I want to actually see the conversation. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. exactly. Yeah. No, yeah. I do feel the same. that's kind of what you were saying earlier and, and what you let happen in that, you know. Mm. Um, you absolutely let that happen. You go, yeah, what happens to that character? Let's explore that. And I think if you end up with 100 hours of footage or whatever it is, it's kind of worth doing that. Um, you know, you did sort of approach it like a documentary in that way um, of just gaining all the footage you can and then crafting yeah. it. In the and uh, again, that's another part of, of the process that makes this such a unique film, I think. Thank you.